Well, good afternoon, YouTube modeling community. Robert Bishop from RB Model Works coming at you here from Moscow, Idaho. I have a follow-up update test for this wonderful QSC uh, stripper by Stripwell. Uh, originally manufactured for uh, furniture, but we have found another application for us modelers all right so i had if you haven't seen my other test um i tested six bodies a little bit uh i shouldn't have done so many at one time um so at the request of um one of my subscribers i am doing this test which is a duplicolor primer and duplicolor paint um i soaked it once 15 minutes soaked it twice uh you can see pretty much how much is in there probably two ounces um but anyway let's get right at her have to look around my camera here and bingo Look at there, clean, clean, clean. That was a white primer that was on there. You can see a little bit of it left. Yeah, the sides got a little dry on me. You don't want to let this stuff dry out. Um, it does have a tendency to just tack up. So when it dries out, it uh, makes it a little harder. But you can see, boy, it just it's coming right off. Uh, since it is kind of dried out and it falls off the sides versus a flat surface, uh, it has the ability to sit on top. I think uh, I think they're recommended uh, once every five, 15 minutes. I think maybe go down to uh, every 10 minutes so it doesn't dry out. Um, but as you can see, it does take it off. Let me see if I've got a cleaner brush here. Yep. So, yeah, see, like on the back bumper area where it can sit flat and stay in constant contact, it definitely takes it right off but I'm at my bench so I'm not gonna scrub too hard because I've got finished models off to the side here but I just want to show you even with it dried up on the side that uh, it takes care of duplicolor no problem so, and that's, gentlemen, ladies, that is 30 minutes time. You know, we soak in dot three brake fluid, uh, liquid bleach, uh, easy off oven cleaner. We do all these chemicals, caustic chemicals in our household. Not only is bad for us, but it's bad for our pets. Um, there's no, no chemicals listed on their... MSDS because there isn't any I don't know what they put in it but uh, good stuff but you can see it takes it right off uh, again when it comes to the sides get it just keep it wet so uh, 
Also, another follow-up to what I did the other day was a chrome test. Um, I stripped the chrome in here, and this is the result. You can see all this chrome stuff. It, it came off very, very weird, almost in strings and um, clumps. Um, but you can see it got down under the cracks and crevices. Nice and clean. There is a little bit left on the manifold, but that's a big deal. So, in this, I also let set 24 hours. Um, this is a test uh, for the MPC Chrome. Um, let me see if I can pull it out and show you. You can see with the MPC Chrome, it's got the coating on it, which kind of always, it's a yellow. I don't know what the chemical is that they put on it. Uh, but it all always hinders, um, it's like a gloss coat, but I want to see, and it looks like after just a few minutes, it's going to start taking it off. Um, but it leaves this weird gloss coat. I don't know if it's a, some type of coating they put on it in the factory to get the chrome to stick to it, but I'm going to let this stuff sit in here for 24 hours as well and see if it'll take that yellowish chrome based stuff off um, so we know it'll take off model masters enamel uh, I just showed you it takes off duplicolor lacquer over duplicolor um, primer acrylic um, All of these paints, enamels, MCW lacquer, MCW uh, enamel, Model Master enamel. It takes care of all that stuff. So, I was asked if I would do another test, which it's like, sure. I didn't, you know, I'm not out of pocket for this stuff. Um, you know, but in all the tests I've done, let me back this up here a little bit. You can see seven bodies and a chrome pit. That's all I've used so far out of a quart. So this stuff's going to go a long ways. But what I was asked to do was do a, do a submersion test. So uh, instead of repainting a bunch of bodies... Uh, for dual reasons. Number one, I was asked to see uh, if we could just leave that in there and if it'll strip it nice and clean. And also, we wanted to test um, how the plastic comes out. As you can see from this stuff, you know, it's not, it's not bendable. You know, it didn't soften up or anything. You know, you can't you can't bend this any more than you normally would be able to. Um, so what I'm going to do is I just painted these today. I'm going to submerge these, let them set, or actually I'm going to let them sit overnight. Then tomorrow I'm going to submerge these for 24 hours, um, maybe even 48. I want to leave them in good and long. Because I want to see if these are going to attack the styrene. And uh, they're all AMT kits, so they're, you know, I don't know how well the plastic's going to hold up. But this is Model Masters French Blue. Uh, this is Krylon, uh, just plain gloss white enamel. This is Tester's uh, One Coat Lacquer Gold. And this is Tamiya um, T51 Telefonica Blue. That's their kind of hybrid lacquer in a can. So I'm going to let these uh, cure overnight, 
and then I'm going to do a sit test, uh, a soak test with these, and we'll see how it comes out. At the same time I do this test, I will give you the results of this chrome uh, to see if it cleaned up that chrome base off of this stuff. All right, guys, thank you very much. You can go to, uh, oh, another thing. Uh, I was asked if um, you guys might like a 12 ounce offering and I told them absolutely. If uh, we're not gonna go through a whole lot, just a small batch supply, uh, we're lo always looking for good deals, so that would be great. So expect that soon uh, on their website. You can go to stripwell.com. Uh, you can also look them up, uh, just do hashtag on Instagram and follow them on their Facebook page as well. Um, if this was informative for you guys. I appreciate it. Hit the like button down below. Leave me a comment. Good, bad, indifferent. Uh, I take it all. Uh, but anyway, guys, you have a blessed day. Stay safe. And uh, that's it.